Brothers and sisters, I'm going to try to continue here. Uh, my phone was about to die. <laughs> it's just been, goodness sakes, I don't know who feels this way, but um, I know we're all under spiritual attack at the same time, especially if um, you have prophetic gifts or if you're a watchman. So please always armor up and ask God to protect you. Um, especially the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Because every time that Jesus fought the devil, remember when he was being tempted, he always uh, fought him with the word of God. Praise you, Jesus. All right, Lord, this is for you. I do love him. I do love the Lord. Uh, so if I get uh, emotional or, um, you know, if I get weepy, it's because of my love for Jesus. So I will continue. I'll uh, just try to skip anything personal for me, but um, the Lord has been warning me for years. So many different warnings. Um, right now I'm, I'm talking about war. Um, January 21st, he gave me some private uh, revelation. He talked about division. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm sorry, it's been a day. <clears throat> Holy Spirit was telling me I need to learn to be still, that I, um, that is when I will have his presence, and this is very important when we're trying to hear from him that we need to, because every morning I have my prayer time, and I quiet myself, and then I pray heavily, praise and worship too, thanking him, repenting, etc. Let me just throw that in there. Jesus, uh, Holy Spirit is a peace, love, and tran tranquility. He said to explain over the airwaves that he is a supernatural God. He speaks in supernatural ways and communicates differently. He is not of strife and division, but of unity and love. His heart aches at all of division amongst the brethren. Too much hatred which doesn't come from me, he said. And I always ask for um, confirmation from Scripture. He gave me Hebrews 2.12. This is King James Version, saying, I will declare your name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I sing praise unto you. Praise you, Jesus. Holy Spirit continued. He said, mortars, missiles, bombs, that is what's coming to your nation. War, Russian attacks, and he said B-52. Also, weather modification, disasters, atmospheric pressures, fissures, devastation, and destruction. I am calling my children to come out of sin. Leave all things behind that do not serve me, your God. Your nation has forgotten it's renaissance. The way of your forefathers was of good will and charity, this world full of hatred and self-centeredness. There is a blindness that is making the best of Christians fall asleep. Their numbness and coldness is pervasive, leading to the trap of the enemy's degradation. Into the pit they will fall one by one. This sadness is happening daily. Spreading and thriving because of sin, the enemy has put a wedge between man and God. They are my children. Mine. I created them. I love them. The enemy wants to destroy them. The most deeply wicked think Satan will give them power in the netherworld. They are keenly mistaken. They will be the most tormented, wretched beasts. Satan has no goodness, only hatred and contempt. He wishes to destroy all of my bounty, all of my children. My children must awaken. They must come alive spiritually. Repentance and complete humility will bring them back to me. All must come to know me. All must seek me with their whole hearts. I long to have my flock whole. I long to love my children. Many are so lost in the world and what it can give them, but those riches are temporal. My love and riches are eternal. Salvation is in my mighty name, Jesus. Amen, Lord. He also gave me Psalm 55, 1, Psalm 1, 3, Mark 2, 12. 
Holy Spirit is also, uh, he again speaks to me about spiritual warfare on the back page. But I don't want to get that all into this um, prophetic warning on war. Um, this is another one, January 18th. In prayer today, the Holy Spirit told me Jesus is coming back as a judge, but I must warn and tell others this. Holy Spirit um, said, uh, continue to warn, and um, I speak to him daily um, in prayer, and I always test the spirits, and when he spoke to me that day, he gave me James 1.3, because you know that the testing of your faith de develops perseverance. Holy Spirit said, war will come upon your people, and there will be death and devastation, War leads to suffering. Many, money, pardon me, many will suffer at the hand of war. The time is now to turn from your wicked ways and turn back to God, my Father. Repent and come back to the house of the Lord your God. Do not store up your earthly treasures, for your treasure will be in heaven because of your righteousness and God's mercy. Not only is there physical war, but there is also spiritual war at all times coming against my people, and it will increase. Stand firm in your faith at all times. Lean not on your own understanding. Put your faith and trust in God, the Father Almighty. Do not be afraid. Do not worry. Your Father shall provide for all of your needs. The sparrow flies in the sky. He does not sell or reap, or sow or reap, and yet... His heavenly Father provides for every need. Are you not worth more than the life of the sparrow whom he provides for? Even an hour cannot be gained by worry. Lean on the Lord, for he is strong. He will take up your worries and burdens. Cast your cares upon Jesus. He longs to help you. He longs to love you. He longs to be close to his children. He understands what it is like to be human, and yet he knew no sin. Don't you think that he doesn't love you in all ways? Yes, he does. Jesus is love. Enduring an enduring and pure love with gentleness and kindness, he heals all wounds. He binds up all transgressions. With his purity, he makes all things new. We must go to him and seek him with our whole hearts at all times for all things. Continue to warn my children, but also encourage them with my love. That's probably why I added that in there, because it's difficult for me to give all these warnings without speaking about his love. Thank you, Jesus. I love you so much. This one was January 4th. The Holy Spirit spoke to me about a cistern, which is a, um, which you, it's like a reservoir for water. Many, many, many times he has told me to prepare, prepare, prepare. Get your house in order, prepare. He's spoken to me about um, conserving water and canned goods. And in this vision, I saw a Chinese flag and a Russian flag. And I've also received other um, prophetic warnings about Russia and China. Holy Spirit is angry, very upset. He's telling me about China. He said, modern day slavery, especially women. Holy Spirit told me, I must cleanse the earth of the filth and the evil. Also on America, she has so much greed and evil. The majority have forgotten to put God first. Prioritize Christians. God has unlimited mercy, but we must go to him with a repentant heart, bowing down and worshiping him, being grateful for the gifts he has given. Lost are the ways of the forefathers of the American people, the traditions and the ways that kept families first and God first are forgotten. Technology has taken over for private, intimate conversations and relationships. God's people are too busy to take time to pray. What to prioritize, which is him, and make him first. He is more like an afterthought. afterthought. The Holy Spirit told me. Greed is the all-consuming word of the day. So many chase after monetary things. And yet, 
the Lord told me to remind you that your earthly treasures are not what matters to your soul. Dross, the Holy Spirit told me. Come back to him now. Receive his mercy. Also prepare, prepare, prepare. What is coming? The troubles. Get your house in order. I just said that, but I didn't realize it was again there. At the end, he told me, repent, fall in love with Jesus. He is our salvation. Holy Spirit says the troops are being set up. War is at hand. It isn't far off. We will see World War III. This one I will tell quickly and I'll have to do another video. This was October 8, 2015. The Lord put my spirit, USSR 1632 Anvil. And I do believe that uh, what I received in my spirit was some sort of um, Russian um, war, uh, some sort of, not armory, but um, plane. That's what I was feeling in my spirit. Maybe somebody knows more than I do. I'm sure most do. <laughs> this is prophetic for me, so... Uh, like I said, I don't watch the news, I don't read the paper, I do not watch world news. The only things that I receive are from, um, I have a watch woman, and um, she um, knows things of the world and through n the news. Um, she's a very devout Christian also, but I just wanted to continue, but I'm going to have to do uh, another vid video because I have um, all of these prophetic warnings. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank you for being patient.